Well, YouTube viewers, I made myself a second micro lathe. Uh, this one is approximately seven inches by approximately five inches. It's using a small DC electric motor. I started out with a 12 volt coming out of an old busted cordless drill. And then I switched to the bigger 24 volt. I believe it's called a 775 motor, something like that. I was a little leery of the power, but it does the job. Uh, as you can see, I've got a collet chuck mounted to a 10 millimeter shaft. I can also mount this zinc three jaw chuck mounted on a 10 millimeter shaft. This one is actually hollow so I can pass through, but unfortunately this truck is garbage. It will not hold on to any metal of any sort. The jaws loosen up. I'm thinking of getting some Delrin plastic, see how that works with it. I do have a new truck on order. It's an all steel truck. I've used them before. I can also mount, excuse me, I can also mount a three jaw drill chuck on there. Uh, all I got to do is loosen up the set screws on the uh, shaft, on the bearings, and take the pulleys off. It's got a small timing pulley on it. The tailstock, excuse me for bumping the camera, the tailstock is one I had sitting around I had ordered a long time ago for a project and it didn't work out but it works out for this and it adds plenty of extra mass. To move the tailstock all I got to do is loosen up these two set screws. See if I can turn this a bit. There we go. Loosen up the two cap screws and then this will slide and I can advance the dead center. Uh, I also made myself a shaft that has a uh, MT1 taper in it so I can mount that in there and use various accessories. So everybody likes to see how they run. Well this is how it runs. I've got it connected to, if I can raise this up, I've got it connected to a Variac, a 5 amp, and I run it up to a power For aluminum, I run it up to about 12, 13 volts. And we'll try to get in here and get a better shot. With my lousy tripod here. I'll show you how this works. And that took about a five thousandths cut off of that aluminum. So it does function. Um, get this set up again. Excuse me for moving things around. Uh, the bearings are so-so. I think that block on that no power drill setup 
Uh, see if I got one of those. Yeah, one of these. I'm sure everybody is familiar with these. This doesn't have any bearings. You can order new bearings. Uh, the bearings burn out pretty easy on both of them, but this one seems to hold up a little better than the pillow block bearings. Again, I went with that because I wanted it to be smaller. I didn't want to take up a lot of room. And this thing, as far as weight, takes up a lot of a lot of weight already. But anyway, I uh, hope that gives you some ideas. Bed of steel. The main body is steel. The belt guard is steel. Got some aluminum accents. Uh, waffle plate or diamond plate accents on there. And it was a pretty fun project. It's the second one I built, like I said before. Uh, added some improvements, added some changes. And it's working out pretty good. All of these items are readily available on Amazon or eBay and some other shops, like Little Machine Shop might even have some of this stuff. Again, uh, this chuck basically is worthless for working with steel. So I've got a new one ordered. The new chuck is made out of steel. I ordered one for the other micro lathe I built and it holds metal just fine so can't wait to get that and I had to get a new adapter uh, for that this one has a uh, 12 an M12 1 thread where the new one has an M14 1 thread so we'll get that in a couple days and get that installed and go to town. Works pretty good for doing little micro projects. Well, you all have yourself a good day. If you're interested in building one of these, hope this gave you some ideas. Bye.